An extremely embarrassing defeat for the SNP government is causing Humza Yusuf to have a bit of a meltdown over his net zero program. The net zero program that he inherited from Nicola Sturgeon. Things are not going too well for the Scottish administration. So what is going on in this video? You remember we talked about <laughs> all the measures that they come up with to, 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 you know, to help the net meet the net zero targets? Well, Hamza Yusuf is now losing the battle over plastic and the deposit return scheme. So, you know, the deposit return scheme that we've been talking about, the DRS, uh, which, you know, obviously we, we, you have to, uh, businesses and individuals uh, will return uh, certain things like plastic and, you know, the, the containers and everything else. And uh, they get their money back. And the, this scheme, even right now, is in a mess. And the government <laughs> losing so much money and the cost to ordinary people and businesses going up and the whole thing is not going to work. So now Umza Yusuf is basically losing because they're saying, well, we can't really have everything included in terms of material in the deposit return scheme. So they're not, they're not going to meet the target and they're not going to actually be able to bring down the cost to the government and to businesses and individuals. So Humza Yusuf is conceding defeat. So this company is in charge of working with Humza Yusuf and the SMP administration to sort this out. Even these guys have said, we, we can still make it work. We can do it uh, with, uh, with obviously uh, just the existing material. They said, we absolutely believe this scheme is viable to launch with uh, aluminium and plastic containers only. So that's what they've said. They've admitted it, everything's fine. But it's, um, Humza Yusuf was saying, well, we're going to have to cancel it. We're going to have to completely cancel the scheme uh, because it's not going to work. Alastair Jack, the Secretary of State for Scotland, has come out to also say, we have received more than 1,000 letters of concern from businesses about the Scottish DRS. It's those concerns that we've taken into account when we've come to our conclusion because we believe the deposit charge should uh, be the same. I mean, I, 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 that's the thing. It should be a blanket thing across the UK. That's what they're saying. Again, it's the same thing with the whole gender recognition bill that then completely caused division in the country. Anyway, he says, if I get off the train in Carlisle and buy some recyclable um, material and it's 10p in Carlisle and 20p <laughs> in Dumfries, I doubt my money. I, I, I double my money. That makes no sense. That, that is a good point. And people can actually completely cheat the system. So it's, it's going to be completely chaotic. They don't know what they're doing. They have absolute, I mean, the one thing that they know what they're doing is about the fact that they know all these divisive policies that could be very different in Scotland and uh, obviously a completely separate thing in England, for example. It could cause more division and they think they could help their cause as separatists to bring down the United Kingdom. That's the whole agenda. For example, the gender recognition reform bill, and they, they, which they were obsessed about, uh, that wasn't just because of wokeism. That obviously would affect the General Equalities Act that applies to the whole of the kingdom, right? And that's why the Down Downing Street team decided to veto it. But that, that, that's why people like Holmes Yusuf and Nicola Surgeon kept pushing and pushing and pushing because they know that could cause chaos. And then that could show, well, that could undermine the act of union. And they could say, well, let's just go separate ways and uh, have independent Scotland. Even the <laughs> more than half the people in Scotland don't want to leave. But the SNP believe that they are representing the whole of Scotland. And there are some people in England, thanks to the propaganda from the mainstream media, both sides, started to believe that everybody in Scotland is pro-SNP and everybody in Scotland is pro-independence. Well, that's not true. You're just listening to lies. And this is the whole problem with the mainstream media as well. You cannot go out there and pretend that the SNP represents the whole of Scotland. Anyway, we're going to continue giving guys all the updates throughout the day. Make sure to share this video. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.